Hey guys, welcome to video number 24 for the Canon EOS 500D T1 I and SX3 tutorial videos. Um, in this video, I'm just going to lead up to doing some work um, on the video mode, and I just want to show the controls on the camera and the menu items um, for the video mode first. Uh, this, granted, isn't in uh, high definition, um, but the Canon 500D does shoot video in high definition, and of course, the subsequent videos for the video mode will be as a result in high definition um, as well. Um, so the camera is currently in video mode and when you look at the back of the camera it looks very very similar to when you use live view um, where you would look use the LCD screen to pre-focus, change exposure um, when you take a still life shot maybe or a landscape shot using the back screen. Um, again this screen shows 100% of what you're going to see um, within the frame however these two little black bars that you can see there, or grey bars, that's your the end of your field of view of what the camera is going to see, um, because a video is a different um, resolution and format in terms of the uh, uh, screen format, if you like, than when dealing with stills. Um, so anything that you take below or above these little grey bars uh, will not show up in the video frame when you're shooting. Okay, now. We've got the grid lines on at the moment which can help you compose a shot, again rule of thirds. Uh, that shows you that you're in video mode, um, battery icon, ISO readout. That's the number of stills that you can take, uh, not the number of videos. Uh, your metering bar, the aperture and the shutter speed. Now one quick thing to note before we go into this, the Canon 500D is not a fully manual video camera. You cannot dial in the exposure yourself like you can on the 550D, um, 600, 67 or 5D Mark II. Um, it's just not got that option on there. It's all very, very automatic. You can kind of trick the camera, get it to meter from a different scene, something that's darker, brighter or mid-tone, and then lock the exposure. Um, but that I will show in a separate video for you. Okay. Uh, that tells you the picture format that you're shooting in, currently in RAW, and that will tell you the resolution that you're currently in. It's currently in 720p, so 1280 by 720, and that's the number of minutes left on recording um, video. Uh, that will depend on what memory card you've got, the size of memory card. For video you're going to need a class 4 or faster, I do recommend class 6 for doing video uh, memory card, and you can record up to around about 12 minutes per clip depending on the scene you are shooting and the lighting conditions as well uh, and camera settings that the camera has chosen um, the reason why that time limit is there it's not so much the time limit it's because of a file size limit you can record up to four gigabytes per video file uh, and that's just a limit down with uh, to do with the codec or the file system and um, that's been used it's the same across all the Canon cameras there are some instances where you can get it to record longer. Again, it just depends on what the scene is uh, that the camera's looking at because, of course, it's recording different information, more data, less data, depending on the scene and detail that's in the scene in front of it. Okay, that's your white balance currently set on auto white balance. We have the metering box in the middle there, your picture style, and the auto focus mode, which is AF quick or otherwise and you can see it's just turned off on me so we'll wake that up it does that just to uh, save power so so we'll have a quick look at these functions by pressing the set button auto white balance now to change this you use your front wheel daylight white balance there's nothing recording there at the moment it's just looking at a white piece of paper that's why that's orange um, shade cloudy tungsten that looks about normal white fluorescent flash and the custom white balance which I can't remember what I used last to set that but it's very green there we go and um, if we go up we can change the picture style from standard um, portrait landscape all through the picture styles neutral faithful monochrome user defined one now you may notice I've set up a custom profile on this using the picture style editor which came with the Canon EOS software um, and that's 500d flat video so I've made it a flat uh, profile so I've got more room to edit video in terms of colour correction in post production. I'll, again I'll do more on that later on. And then user defined 2 standard and user defined 3 is by default standard as well. Um, the auto focus modes, sorry not the tripod there, 
you've got AF Quick, AF Live Mode, which is a little bit slower, and, and um, AF Live Mode with Smiley Face, which is just for face recognition. Never used it, and probably never will. Okay, I usually use AF Quick because it shows you the auto focus points. Now, when you do come to focus, you would focus using this button here. Okay. Um, however, the camera is actually currently turned to manual focus at the moment. And that would actually lock in focus. It's not as quick as it would be normally in stills mode. Um, so, but don't worry about it. Um, but it will allow you to lock focus using auto focus. Now, regarding focus, the camera will not automatically focus continuously. Um, it doesn't have that function. Uh, not many DSLRs do. Um, although I think Nikon have a couple out that do. Um, it's all manual focus, so when you're moving around shooting video uh, if you're using especially wide open apertures, so it's in low light, shallow depth of field you're going to be constantly adjusting the, the focus manually on the lens um, but again more on that soon. So we'll go into the menus now as well, so the video shooting menus on the first tab we have remote control enabled, this is if you've got the uh, Canon RC6 um, infrared remote control so you can start and stop recording um, I've just left it on enabled sound recording on or off. It records in mono sound and um, it doesn't have a stereo microphone and cannot take an external input on audio. You could however record your audio separately if you wish to. Um, that's the menu where you can pick the auto focus modes, we've covered those. Movie recording size is either 720p, standard definition 640 480 and 1080p. Now 30 frames a second there, 30 frames a second for 720p, this does depend on whether your, your camera is set for PAL or NTSC, so that's Europe or America, and the 1080p is 20 frames a second. Uh, why they chose 20 frames a second, whether it's down to a limitation on the processor in the camera, I don't know. It's just a rather strange frame rate really, um, but there you go. Um, it's still usable 1080p if you're just sat doing a one-to-one -one interview, so one sat talking to the camera. Um, but when you start to do a lot of movement, um, you can see that lower frame rate because it becomes quite stuttered. Okay. Uh, metering timer. Okay, 30 minutes. I usually leave mine on 30 minutes so the meter so the meter is not going to change on me. Um, you can set that accordingly. And the grid display. You can use a normal rule of third grid or a tighter grid, should you wish to. Um, there or turn it off completely. So I'll go into that. Now that's your picture shooting quality. There you can choose RAW or JPEG. The, the autofocus beep on or off. Release shutter without card. These are just basic shooting options for stills. And peripheral illumination correction. We've seen that before. It just stops or helps to uh, combat vignetting um, in pictures. And you can do exposure compensation, custom white balance, change your picture style. And these are just image controls, which we've seen before in previous still shooting menus and modes, um, to rotate images, erase print order, transfer order, and so forth there. Uh, auto power off, that's all the same there. Okay. And the video system, be it, well, you've got the language there, in PAL or NTSC, depending on whereabouts you're shooting or where uh, you, which region you would like to use your footage in. So, fairly, fairly basic. Um, not a whole load of options, really. Um, that we can control in the video mode. Um, you can add exposure compensation to make an image brighter or darker but what it tends to favour is increasing the ISO to do so or decreasing it. Um, you can't really get it to set a specific aperture or shutter speed unless you try and fool the meter and lock the exposure. Uh, the button used to lock the exposure is the ISO button on top. Um, you don't get to change that yourself, the camera decides it, so you hit the ISO button and then you get a little star there where it's locked the exposure. But I'll show you a trick um, in the upcoming videos on the video mode on how to trick the camera into metering an exposure that you want, lock it in and then manually focus so you can shoot at that greater or shallower depth of field or at least get the aperture and shutter speeds roughly where you want them to be. And so that's just been a quick introduction to the video mode and uh, more videos coming up on that in, in use I need to figure out what I'm going to film <laughs> um, you know, I'm by no means a filmmaker so this should be fun and uh, we'll see what we can do with the yes rather limited video mode on the 500D but there are a few things you can do um, to get some decent video out of it so uh, thank you very much for watching if you've got any comments, questions, stick them below or send me an email 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.